Uh, hello. This is just always a matter of viewer speaking. Uh, yes, I'm reviewing Dreamed Up Distance. I finished the stream. Thank you all who still have to make it to the 100 mark for me to stream this. Uh, was my sanity worth it that I lost my hair? I don't know. As you saw towards the end of the stream, I was actually yelling at how much I hated the ending and how much mystery it led up to. And the more writing in general. Now, please don't make me do another one. Please, 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 please. Next landmark to decide by then, but woo! But, reviewing Dream Drop Distance. Okay, let's give out the negatives. Negative one. Fuck that rhythm game. I'm, I'm dead serious. I hate that rhythm game in the Fantasia world. I couldn't advance, so I had to go to an older save and rename some of the things. You saw it. It's on the final part. I couldn't advance because the button goes way too fast. That may be easy on a 3DS, but it's not easy on a damn console. Okay. Two. Screw the flow of motion. It sucks. It's annoying. It's hard to use. That's another gameplay negative. I could give a lot of story negatives, but I believe I was giving those out in the in the run. And also, let's not even forget, time is a straight line. That's how they used time travel originally. It was supposed to be straight line, straight line time travel, but then the more I decided to like that with the time travel. So we all know how that ended. But I also point out in that run uh, that we're deviating from those are the two mega bads of this gameplay. I'll get back to the story. I'm sorry, I did. Segwayed, I as I said, I'm tired from the run. Like I'm still working off the exhaustion. But that, I lost my hair. What more do you want from me? Next time I do another one, I'll be completely bald. I'm mildly shaved head, but ugh, lose all my hair. Oh, man, I mean, I even get a more receding line than normal because of the next one. If I have to do like can oh god, KH three. Oh, I already set the milestone for three hundred. So you know where it has to go. You might as well send Leonidas in the 300 army when the 300 submark hits. Does that mean King of Hearts 3? I have to scream and explain all the lore, and I might even have to buy them. I don't. They'll be up to the voters. I, that, the the, the remind thing will be commissioned. God help me. Or Kami. Or any other whatever deities there are. Segway. Story. I. This is the game where Sora starts his character arc. This is also the game where Riku kind of finishes his character arc because he was on for the first. Kingdom Hearts. I explained that in the run. If you want more of the Loric story, go look at that. The the world it never was. Great gameplay. You got to see how big that was. That was my most funnest section. If you saw when I was streaming, I was gushing at how big the world it never was was because it was all implied it was a big world, but we never got to see it because of the PS2 limitations. <sighs> and that. So good job there, Square. Would I sh um. The Ventus Armor thing. Good job with the bookend. Those boss fights. Holy hell, those boss fights. Oh, the world that never was is when they cranked the difficulty up to a 10 on, like, the boss fights. You saw the Ansem boss fight. Not only did I take on Ansem in his first form, then I took him on which would have been a mini space form. Then I had to fight young Xehanort three days. Oh, his phases were so annoying. And then I had to fight Ventus, which is basically to eat a lot easier. That's just a lot easier than I was like, oh god. And that's Riku. Sora had one boss fight. Riku has four. That's why I said his campaign goes longer. When the world that never was happens, Sora literally goes through the story, 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 story. One boss fight, stop. And it just goes Riku from the rest of there. That's why I said because he's the main character of the game in the beginning of the run. Would I recommend you play this game by itself? Hell no, don't buy this on, actually yes, buy it on DS because it's a fucking ribbon theme. But I'm not, the numerical score of this thing, if I'm throw everything in this, this is an average game. It's average. It's, I, I, I don't want to call it a below average because of how much retconning it is, but if I was to look back with sunglasses that I have on back at the time, I would have given this an 8 back when it first came out because it was a direct continuation of King Mars 2 that I had been waiting years for. Now, years later, that I'm, I'm literally doing looking back on this and doing a full stream on it, basically, and the rhythm damn game from hell and back, this is like a six. It's an average game, but it's, it's, it's I'll, I'd bump it to a seven if you buy the complete all one package. Because then you could get your mind off it by playing the other games. Also, it makes a lot more sense if you play this in continuity order. I even said on the streams 
what games you can skip and what games you should not skip to make sense for Kingdom Hearts 3. I even explained on the stream what plot holes will make exist because of this, I believe. Because, God, because for one, at one point I accidentally muted my mic, so I was screaming about the ending for about 15 minutes, and then I realized my mic was off, I clicked it back on, my throat still hurts from last night, so, fun fun. Um, and I had to re-scream again. And you can hear how exhausted I was. As soon as I was done, I just crashed when I'm done. So, there's that. There's the review of Birth by Sleep that you've all been waiting for. Look forward to stuff coming on after this video. Because after this video, I've got one more drama video coming up. And then after that, I've got a film tonight. And you'll have a bunch more videos probably coming out sometime throughout the week like the normal schedule used to be. Because I don't have a priority stream. Unless somehow it reaches 300 and I have to go straight to KH3. God help me if that be the case. Because as always, China! Signing off. No, no, not China, but Mad Readers. Kim was signing off. I hope you enjoyed the Birth by Sleep run. God help me when I also have to stream. Help John with the war on KH3. I mean, KH2 and 3. Oh, so exhausted last night. See ya!